Yeah, that's really stupid, because now I can do that. Oh! There it is! Stupid is as stupid does. Hey, you beautiful buccaneers, Falcor here. So the game is over two years old now, and we've seen a huge amount of content come our way in this time. Anyone who played the game even only six months ago would come back to a huge change. But let's talk on a subject that I think would improve the longevity of the game in its present state. So, being a full-time content creator on the game for both YouTube and Twitch, I have accumulated a lot more hours than the average player. I've seen all that can be seen, decked out my ship in the finest cosmetics, and raised the ranks and commendations in almost everything the game has thrown at me. But that's not the case for the average player. The game isn't really structured toward those who invest a lot of time within the game. It's aimed more toward a play-by-play -play basis. It gives you excitement and rewards for a smaller play session. If you play this game at least three times a week, there is always something out there that you can get your hands on, to change how your pirate or how your ship looks, or some sort of adventure you can slowly progress on. But that is often this game's downfall. You see, everything within the game is purely based on commendations or tasks. Grab 400 of these, sink 250 of these, sail a certain distance with a faction. All of these result in a guaranteed reward for you and your ship. And although that's a great way of doing things, as it means you can pretty much plan out your adventure and keep tabs on your progress before your eventual reward, it also means your adventure has a shelf life. We've all experienced it. Spending countless hours redoing world events for some illustrious cosmetic, only to be left with a what now feeling once you are done. This is why when an update comes out, the first couple of weeks are a hive of activity, everyone running to these new events to be the first people to unlock these new cosmetics, and of course to experience the hype of the new event. But after two or three weeks, these events once again slowly become less active, until players see that awesome beacon on the horizon and just think, nah can't be bothered. The main reason behind this is because most people have already got what they want from the event. They've done all of the commendations and there is no real reason to go back. These events, however, are a great way to make gold and gain reputation within the factions, but they also come with a sense of fear. And if you're the type of player who tries to avoid PvP, or you're just simply not in the mood for PvP, you'll just avoid them and spend your time doing a regular voyage quest for that gold and reputation. So eventually what we see are loads of lovingly crafted world events being ignored. A prime example is the new Ashen Winds event, which offers you less money than a one-hour gold hoarder voyage. What would be the point in the danger and the time invested in an event like this when you can just run a regular voyage and get more money and reputation? So the point I'm trying to make is all these events, the Ashen Lords, the ghost ships, the forts, the skeleton ships, all need a reason for people to keep coming back. New players and even players like myself who pretty much have everything the game has to offer. And this is where I think a new RNG loot system would come in very handy. For people who don't know, RNG stands for Random Number Generator. It's basically a system that all games use. Say for example you're on an Athena mission, and when you finally get the island for that final chest, the game will run a random number generator to determine which item your Athena chest will spawn on. Or say for example you hear a Megalodon spawn, the game will run a random number generator to decide whether or not to raise your monitor contrast to make the shark look like it's white and lie to you. The whole game runs on an RNG system, from quest locations to loot locations, so why not simply have an RNG loot system for world events? So here's the idea. All random world events, such as the regular fort for example, have a small chance of dropping a new item. A simple gift package. We'll use this random chest as an example. So you just finished the fort, and that boss just dropped a gift package. Not only do you get the regular fort loot that we all love, but you also get this gift package. Taking this gift package back to the shipwright within the game will either simply give you a sizable amount of gold or doubloons, but also gives you a very small chance to unlock a unique cosmetic for your ship. 
or your pirate. The cosmetics would be a variant of what you can already unlock via commendations. So for example, defeating Flameheart and gaining the relevant commendation gets you these Burning Blade sails. But if you're lucky and you complete the Flameheart event and get one of these gift packages, you also have a chance of unlocking a slightly different version. So a blue variant or a green variant, something to really flex and show off on the seas. And because these gift packages are entities within the game, they can easily be stolen by anyone else. Having a system in place like this would increase the need to revisit old world events. New New players and veterans alike would see a world event spawn and likely head straight toward it, as it would offer them another chance at getting their hands on a shiny new and exclusive cosmetic. And to keep things fresh, these cosmetics could even be rotated on a monthly basis and draw focus to the game, which if publicized correctly would encourage people to play. I mean hell, it's been working for years in MMO games, so why not see of Thieves? The world events in this game, in my opinion, are the backbone of this game's action within adventure mode, but they're nearly not as fun when no one is there to contest them. The driving force, the fun, the excitement all comes from enemy crews fighting over the same goal. And I think a system like this in play would encourage this to happen on a more permanent basis, not just the first few days of an update. Now I know there will be a few of you in the comments right now complaining that this is a terrible idea, as you don't have as much time to play as a veteran like myself or others. And I agree, that's because this is essentially an end game concept, a system put in place for us sweaty tryhards to squeeze a little extra out of the game. The game already has a plethora of unlockable content ready to go for those of you who have limited time to play. This system would be in place for those of us who want to really push for that end goal. And hey, who knows? People might start doing the Devil's Roar for... Uh, okay, okay, maybe that's a step too far. 